Updatamus Prime. I can't believe I said that either. Never mind. Anyway, right, down here. I've done the holes for the rad mount, so that's that done. So I've moved on to putting the side panel in this side, and I've blue tacked the uh, solid state drives in where I think looks good. And I think that looks about right. I need gaps between them for the cables, but also what I'm going to be doing, this is how I'm going to mount them. These are two other drives because I've obviously got a few of these refurbs kicking about. Anyway, the their solid their motherboard mounts, motherboard standoffs, which I've screwed in. And then what I'm going to do is I'll uh, I'll screw the holes into the back plate, and then screw them in from behind. And the reason why I need them to stand off from the side of the panel because of the cables because then the cables from this side can go underneath the other drive and come out the other side and these ones can all come down all nice and tidy so that will go down in there so essentially the cables will go underneath the drive and down and it's like I said it's just to make sure that the cable is that little bit extra tidy and before you ask yes eventually the idea will be to put some lights right in the bottom down there so that when we turn the uh, rig on this will light up. I've still not made my mind up yet about windows and stuff because of how bad uh, what I was going to do was cut all the way around here and put a window in and not have the mesh but this paint is uh, burning and going yellow really badly um, and I'm really not 100% sure because if I go around all this with a Dremel well, it, we I could end up making the outside of the case go yellow with heat um, I could do it all really really slowly but I'm just still really wary so I'm, I might bin the idea of the window off and just have the uh, drives hidden behind the mesh instead but I don't think that looks too bad I think it looks pretty epic if you imagine seeing those when the the rig's on I think that looked pretty awesome anyway uh, I haven't got the microphone in in case you're wondering why the audio is slightly different. Um, I'm going to crack on now because I now need to uh, mod a solid state drive um, 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch adapter plate so I can get my holes in the right place. But I will show you how to do that in a minute. We is back. Right. So the blue tacked solid state drives that I had in here, I just drew edges on the corners where they were so I could put some cross points on so we've now got the center points of both of the solid state drives I've measured to the edges and these are in exactly the same place so we know that the, both the center points are absolutely spot on now what I need to do is now put the screw holes in for the solid state drives which is quite difficult because it's not like they're both the same distance from the edge one edge is further away than the other. So what we need to do is, is make a tool and what I'm going to do is I've got a solid state drive mount and then what I've done is I've drawn across the two to get the middle point of the solid state drive again because obviously it's, this is all off centre so we've got the middle point and I've drilled a hole in to find that. Now we know this is the longer edge so we know this is the bottom where the solid state drive would go. So we know I can't find my pen. Where my pen is, Steve? All right, there you go. So I'm just going to do this. Draw an arrow. So we know that. Well, you can't even really see it very well. So we know that is the bottom, and that's where the connectors go. So we've marked that, and then all we have to do is line up. the and it is there in the middle line it up and then we get the edges straight because then that's the next bit we've got the middle in the right place and then we need to make sure that the edge is correct as well which what I'll do is I'll draw a line down there so I know exactly where I need it to be and I can measure to make sure it's straight and then once we've got that in there like that we can go one two three four 
with the pen just mark it through do the same on the bottom and then I'll have my eight hole points that I need to do now when you do your drilling something a little bit of a tip don't just start to drill straight away get a drill bit or a you can get a center punch that's the best way to do it but most people out there won't have a center punch get a drill bit line it up where you want hold it in the right place and then tap the top with a hammer and the, the point on the end will give you a nice start so when you start to drill in it won't be racing all over the place trying to find the hole so that little tap will make all the difference and it will make sure that you get your holes in the right place definitely want to make sure you get it in the pink and not the brown because people moan a lot of the time when you get it in the brown by mistake some people might say thank you but you never know anyway so we've got that that we can have in the right but we'll, we will have everything in the right place so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, do it all myself mark it all up get the uh, holes put in and I will be back with the drives and we'll show you them in the side of the case Righty heighty, I'm getting so much done today it's getting a bit scary, I might have to calm down, especially where I've had one normal cup of home brewed coffee all day and one cup of tea and I feel like I'm climbing the walls, but anyway, they're in, that's it, they're mounted, it's done. Now if you have a look, because Steve just pointed this out, this angle, that's the case, it goes up at an angle. The Solid state drives are in there straight. If we go around the back, just to show you, you can see the eight screws there for the solid state drives. There's two there, two there, two there, and there's two right the way down the bottom. But that's it, they are in there. One thing I am worried about now, just so you can see my train of thought, is there's not a lot of room here. So if I was to fit acrylic, there really wouldn't be much distance between the drive and the acrylic so we might just stick with the mesh but I don't think that is a bad way to display my solid state drives which just to remind you the ones that I'm going to be using are 480 gigabyte force threes and I'm going to stick them in the side like that with lights down the bottom so it will light the solid state drives up and when it's on my desk I'm still using the Phantom 820 at the moment the drives are going to be here so you'll be able to see straight in at the um, the side so uh, wait for the camera to catch up I think that's going to look the gonads I'm properly properly happy with that I'm really really glad I decided to do it what do you guys think? I think I better get my camera out now and start taking some pictures. Right then, another update. Camera is in my hand, um, and I'm using a normal camera mic. Right, we're all in. I've got all the brackets in. You can see the red washes. Another bracket at the bottom. Bracket at the front, at the top. Now, if I come back, you can kind of. I'll go round, Stevo. Hello, Stevo. Hello. Look up, Stevo. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we've got the uh, the rad in. It's all fixed. It's solid. Someone sent me a message, and honestly, this thing. Obviously we've got the this side has to be open, but yeah, I'm I'm more than happy with it. I do still need to address the cables, so the radiator will probably end up coming back out again. Um but I just wanted to show you this bit. Now I'm gonna turn the camera off because I need to turn the rig round. Anyway, actually I'll tell you what I will do. Just show you that we've got all the all of this is all in. There is a little white, uh, black line there and that's actually where a bit of the white paint of the case has come off so I need to touch that up. Um, and up there actually it looks like so I'm just noticing little bits that I'll have to touch up. The, uh, the Dynock 
panel is in and all lovely, lovely. Oh yeah, there's a good shot for Dinoc. You can see all that down there. Oh, it's lovely. Um, I have got the other radiator out ready. You can see it's carnage here at the moment um, because I've flushed all the radiators out. They're done ready. And then uh, I know with roughly what I'm doing with the rads now, but I'll save that for another video. But I'm going to just turn the uh, camera off and show you the crowning glory of what I've done today. And it's something I'm really happy with. Right, so this is it. We are um, the, the the panel that is, that's there now. That's it. It's in. Um, I've put some uh, double-sided foam on the other side, so that when they're pinched together, it um, it it doesn't rattle too much. It's a really kind of properly solid, happy fit there. It's it, it's better than a cooler master job. There's no movement there at all. It's lovely. Now this bolt. There's one underneath here, there's one there, and one there. That's the rad brackets coming through. And by pushing it right through, it means that if it was just on this, a single side, A, these are too big, but if it was just on a single side, it could just pull the whole panel off on that side. There would be, it could, the radiator could just pull it off. But by having it coming straight through, yes, the screws don't look brilliant there, but it means that the it really just can't pull off. It's on a fixed surface. It's not going to pull this panel through. Um, also, where we've got two panels either side, the um, motherboard standoffs that I've used, they don't go through. So you can't see them, although because the radiator is there, it wouldn't really have mattered. But they're just bolted through from the back of just this panel. Um, I've now fitted, as you can see, the final time. I've got my 480 gigabyte Force 3s. I've not got the dummies on there now. You may be thinking, why have I used the motherboard standoffs? But if you think about it, we've got the power and the data cables here. And if they were just stuck down, because obviously there's a gap underneath both of them, we wouldn't be able to put the cables up to it. So when the, uh, in fact, I'm going to get a. Obviously I'm not going to be using a blue cable, but I'm just going to try and find this some uh, SAIT cable. Right. So, I'm going to try and do this with one hand, so bear with me. I'm not going to be using this SATA cable. I'm just trying to show you what it's going to look like. Right. As you can see, it means that the SATA cable can go underneath the other drive and we'll obviously have another cable coming out this bottom bit as well so it should help make things a lot tidier I don't know what cables I'm going to use yet um, don't know whether I'm going to use just black ones or whether I use white ones I'm thinking about black round ones if I can get them but it just gives you an idea of why I've done it uh, and it will in the long run make it look amazing and we'll obviously have the SATA power cable there as well and another one there and it'll just help keep things so much tidier but what we do need to see I'm not going to be able to do this one hand so just bear with me Aha! right now what I have done is I've removed the second set of mesh and if you have a look that's it it's just circular mesh and it goes over that to make it look darker and you get like a dust filter effect but we're not going to have any airflow so I've removed it and that's that there now I re uh, I'm still not 100% sure whether I want to paint the underneath the mesh black or not I was talking about that with Paul earlier um, but those drives in there they look it looks like they should be there it looks like it's just a standard feature I'm so so happy with it but what I'm thinking about doing now I was going to have LEDs at the bottom but I'm worried about all the SATA cables and stuff going down and covering it up so I'm now thinking I may put an LED strip up here so it kind of lights across but they will be on full show there and I think considering the size of the drives and they're obviously not the cheapest things in the world either it really is. I'm going to move this out of the way. Oh, it's a little bit too close. I don't know why it's flickering today. I think it might just be the 
angle I've got the camera at, but anyway, I think that looks the absolute gonads, and it was definitely, definitely worth the effort. And I don't think I could have put um, anything better up that side panel at all. I'm, I'm, yeah, I can't express enough how happy I am with how that's come out. Now, next time we are here, I spin the case round. Next time we are here, I need to put the motherboard in, get the graphics cards in so I can start thinking about drilling the bottom for the reservoir. Then also I need to fit the radiator in the roof. Once the rad's in the roof, the other hardware's in, reservoir's in, then we're talking about hosing stuff up. And as soon as we start talking about hosing stuff up, that's it. She's together then, and it's it will just be finishing touches, doing the loop, that kind of thing. We really are getting to the point now where we're so close to, you know, like final assembly on this. Um, the only things that I really need to think about in the meantime are like those cables there. I need to address those and decide how I'm going to sort that out. There's no real way I can put them through the panel before people ask because the solid state drives are there. So I, I need to try and get my head around how I'm going to fix that. I do have a couple of ideas and it does require me making a couple of Molex brackets and moving things around but you will we'll have to cross that bridge when I get to it and we start putting outside panels on. Um, other than that the, the only main thing that I have left to do is the roof panel airflow mod. Um, that's really the only the main thing left I've got to do now but please do post and let me know what you think because um, I'm properly stoked with this now now I'm even I'm starting to see that the things that I had the, I was imagining in my head really are working out and are going to end up um, really working well with this but for now at least this is a rather enthused tiny Tom Logan watching Top Gun on the telly well on the film anyway and there's all my shiznies over there but anyway this is our tiny Tom Logan with another video for you. Out. Way on. Ding! Say goodbye, Steve-O. Goodbye, Steve-O.